I grow food all through our garden, not just in our dedicated productive patch. And something I really love is having greens and herbs within reach of the kitchen, here on the back deck. I've planted up this large clay pot with a mix of herbs about a year or so ago. If you dig through here, you can see there was oregano, chives, a bit of sage, and horseradish, which now has completely swamped the pot to the detriment of the other ones. So my job for today is to pull all the horseradish out and plant up new herbs. A perennial member of the Brassicaceae family, horseradish is essentially grown as a root vegetable, with the long roots grated and used as a condiment. It's dead easy to grow, but as it does have a tendency to take over, caution should be exercised when planting it into a garden bed. I'm going to use some of this to repot later, so I'm setting it aside for now. Now that I've cleared most of it out of the way and I can see these other plants, I'm just going to carefully remove them so I can plant them back in once I've finished dealing with all of the horseradish root. So there's the sage. I'm just putting that down into some moist newspaper in the shade and they'll be fine for a little while. Then the chives, now they've really struggled under the shade and competition of the horseradish. And then finally, I'll just rip out some of this oregano, which is pretty tough and again can be torn up. I'll just need a few pieces like that, which I can tidy up a bit later when I plant them back in. And now it's back to work on the horseradish roots. With the roots removed, I can refresh the soil. First, I'm removing about 10% of the old mix before refilling with premium potting mix. Here are the new herbs going in to diversify what's on offer. I'll start with some curly leaf parsley in the middle, tricolour sage, which is both culinary and highly ornamental. I'll plant that on the edge so it can spill over. Likewise with some marjoram on the edge. And then around this side, I've got a combination of thymes. That's common thyme. This is turkey thyme. And this one, lemon thyme. So I'll plant those in, and there's still room left over for the herbs that I pulled out earlier. I'm planting the herbs so the taller ones are in the middle, and the smaller ones, and those that like to ramble, are placed around the edge. They're tightly spaced. But that's OK, because I'll keep them to size through regular picking and the occasional cutback. Right, time to zhuzh up the old plants. So this is the sage. It looks a bit ratty, but don't worry, it'll come good. I'm just going to prune about a third of it off, and that just tidies it up, but also takes a bit of the transpiration load off the plant, because the roots have been a bit damaged. It'll go straight in back into the same spot as before, just like that. Next up, the oregano. Again, it needs a serious haircut. Just bring all that back. The new leaves will shoot from the stems at the base anyway, so there's no problems doing this. And then finally, the chives. Again, they'll need a haircut. Split those up into a couple of new clumps and they're ready to plant straight in. I finished the large pot off with an application of liquid kelp to settle the plants in, and some looper mulch to cover the soil. Right, time to replant the horseradish. This is a perfect piece here. You can see these are the fleshy roots that I mentioned earlier that you eat. They're better when they get a bit plumper. So all I have to do is chop off these daggy bits of stem. Just prune off the bottom of the roots to make it easy to plant. And then it's just a matter of putting it into the soil at a point where those crowns sit just above the soil surface. The horseradish will take off quickly. It's vigorous stuff and now has its own place to thrive. The new mix of planting is packed, pretty and productive. And with the horseradish evicted into its own pot, these neighbours should get along just fine. <laughs>